Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and there is a bombshell coming out of the Joe Biden administration, something that was hid from the public, and we had every right to know, and they told us after it was too late. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. With this election season coming up, folks, this is the most important thing you can do to help get our conservative message to the public. Folks, the Biden White House has said they're going to be transparent. They're going to let us know everything. But what do you say when an administration takes somebody's serious medical condition, somebody in a position of some of the highest authority in this country, and hides it from the American people? That's what happened this week when Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin was hospitalized in intensive care after complications from an elective procedure and the Pentagon didn't tell anybody till Friday. It happened on Monday. Not only didn't they tell the American people, who absolutely had a right to know, we absolutely have a right to know. And the media is actually furious about this. And they're landing blows on the Pentagon for this. But not only that, they kept Joe Biden in the dark for days. He didn't know his own defense secretary was in the hospital in the ICU. How insane is that? I want you guys to watch this report on it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Would you trust them if, I don't know, Biden was hospitalized? Would they tell us? Let me know what you think in the comments. Also, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It is really important. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. And now let's watch this report. All right. So one other aspect of this administration this morning. I, I, did you know that our Secretary of Defense was in the hospital? No. Yeah. Did you know he, he went in the hospital yesterday? It wasn't even yesterday. No, five days ago. Five <laughs> days ago, uh, we're just now learning that the Secretary of Defense, Lloyd Austin, had a days-long, a week-long hospital stay that was kept completely secret. So, Kaylee, I'm going to read this letter from the Pentagon Press Association, and I'd love to get your thoughts on this from where you, uh, the perch you used to have. Uh, Here's what they said. They said the fact that he's been at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center for four days and the Pentagon is only now alerting the public late on a Friday evening is an outrage at a time when there are growing threats to U.S. military service members in the Middle East and the U.S. is playing key national security roles in the wars in Israel and Ukraine. It's particularly critical for the American public to be informed about the health status and decision making ability of its top defense leader. What's the balance here, Kaylee? Do we deserve to know? How out of bounds is this? Uh, of course we deserve to know. Look, the Secretary of Defense, as you both well know, is in the chain of command. I mean, there's precedent for the Secretary of Defense, if you go back to the Bush era, um, having the authority to fire missiles. So this is a, a very serious position. And look, the White House press corps, there's some clowns in there, as you know, Jim Acosta, Caitlin Collins, the Playboy reporter, unserious group of people. As opposed to the Pentagon press corps, these are serious reporters, good questions. We saw that in the wake of Afghanistan. And listen to this. When you have our own Jen Griffin saying this, this is the type of behavior you expect from the Chinese government bearing this type of news. Barbara Starr over at CNN calling this a huge strategic failure as of tonight. I do not see a way forward for believing the Pentagon tells the truth on anything. That's CNN. That's Fox. A serious group of reporters saying, how can we trust the Department of Defense at a time when the world's exploding. What must, I mean, something must be bad, Will. If you're hiding it, what is it? I don't know. And I think that, I think it is part of the character of this administration. It's part of that, what we just described a moment ago, yeah. the, the philosophical posture they have towards the idea of information and free speech. That it's to, information is to not flow freely to expose the truth. It is to be controlled to manipulate a particular outcome. And this, whatever their calculation may be, this compromises us in some way for the public or for our adversaries to know this about, about Lloyd Austin. They have decided, and as they have on several occasions, better to control. Yeah. Better to control speech. And Here's I how really look forward to all the speculation on all the left-wing networks that, that Donald Trump incurred when he had the secret Walter Reed visit. I can't wait for that. It won't happen. Not holding my breath. It, not one bit. Here's the Pentagon press secretary, Major General Pat Ryder, trying to explain it away in a statement to Fox News. This has been an evolving situation in which we have had to consider a number of factors, including medical and personal privacy issues. We're now in a position to update you. Uh, we're not going to say we are or we are not. 
We are now in a position to update you. At all times, the Deputy Secretary of Defense was prepared to act for and exercise the powers of the Secretary if required. That's a whole big old nothing burger. <laughs> uh, so we have no idea while our, why our top military official has been in the hospital for a week, and we don't deserve to know, apparently. While there's war in Ukraine, while there's war in... I mean, listen, he's, he's a no-good Secretary of Defense, so I don't really, you know... I mean, I hope he's fine, but it's not clear he's great at his job. Uh, but... You, get, you don't get to not tell us. Exactly. Well, the green movement, the climate movement, is no longer green, at least when it comes to indoor house plants. Take a look at this Washington Post headline by Nicholas Rivero. Indoor 